Royal Enfield Himalayan has that old school look that just so many people want. It really is the perfect motorbike for that classic look while you're driving along Vietnam taking in those breathtaking views. The Himalayan is an entry level motorbike at 400cc and just 25 horsepower. This is definitely not a powerhouse of a motorbike. But hey, when we're traveling Vietnam, we don't need a powerhouse speedy machine while we're cruising along those coastal and mountain roads. This is definitely a 50-50 motorbike of road and off-road. It's perfect for switching between the tarmac and onto gravel. Our most sort of modern adventure bikes are more around the 70 road, 30% off-road. But this bike does neither amazingly, but also does neither badly. It's just a very comfortable switch between the two. This is awesome for Vietnam, where you can just drive along the road, turn off into a gravel track, and experience some of the local culture. It really is very enjoyable to do on both surfaces. This bike is just 136 centimeters off the ground. Again, great for entry level riding. If you need to bail yourself out and put your foot down, you're not that high up. It's 200 kilograms, but that low center of gravity means it feels much lighter than it really is. It comes with standard ABS. If you slam on those brakes too hard, then you're gonna have some help there. Basically, middle of line, very easy to drive. The accelerator's not torquey, nice and smooth, nothing difficult there either. We equip this motorbike with 22 litre Jivy plastic side boxes. It has a nice big rack platform for the bag. You can fit a lot of luggage and yourself and your partner on this motorbike. Now you might see pictures of this bike in India on the Himalayans where people do load up a mountain of luggage on these machines. We don't recommend that, but it can be done. Compared to other motorbikes out there, the seating position and the seat is comfortable for both the rider and the passenger on this motorbike. Royal Enfield is not exactly known for quality, but if you do want that classic old school look and you're happy to go along checking various elements of the bike, such as the oil levels, then this is an okay choice. But do not confuse Royal Enfield with Honda. They are absolutely not on the same page when it comes to quality. If you want a perfect motorbike that's just gonna work, then you do need to be getting a Honda, not a Royal Enfield. Overall, if you want that classical look while you're traveling Vietnam, a bit like the old school Honda 67s, the Honda Cubs, you want that feeling of being old school, then this is a good bike. It's one of a kind and there is nothing else out there that's like it.